Oh, hi. Hi. Oh, hello. Hello. Hi. Hello. My name is Quibus. I'm from South Africa. Hi, I'm Owen. I'm from Ireland. I'm Eve. I'm from Ireland. I'm pretty hungry. I didn't eat all day, so I hope you're not going to feed me something terrible because I'll probably eat that as well. I'm pretty excited to find out what I'll be eating today because, uh, yeah, because I'm pretty excited. I am excited about how he will react to what he will eat today because he's only been here for a couple of weeks. So it'll be funny for me. Does the salt go inside? Yes. Okay, so let's do it like a fairy dust. You're not supposed to try your food first before you add salt. Nom nom. This really looks good. Have you tried it before? No. Uh, this? No, not. So do you have no idea what it is? Um, I've always wanted to try this. If I can take a guess, I think it's the chicken dish with the um, ginseng inside. Yeah? That's like cinnamon. Yeah, so what this is called in Korean is samgyetan. So they eat it during the hottest days in Korea because they have this idea of fire versus fire. So they eat something really hot because the ginseng and the jujubes are supposed to balance your body heat. So it helps you combat the heat and not be too tired. On the inside, it's like young chicken, and it's stuffed with usually stuffed with rice, juju bees, ginseng. How do you know what I have? I like reading about Korean cooking. Nom, nom. Cool. So can we go? Yes. All right. So. Mm. What do you think? Do some salt. Some salt. Oh, it's like from a tree? Oh, okay. yes. It's obviously just for flavor. I mean, it's not as if you can eat this thing. Oh. Except if you're really, really hungry. It tastes good. It tastes really good. I love chicken soup. <laughs> Definitely hot soup. Well, it's just because you're eating too fast, Eve. Let it cool down. I'm enjoying my food, and I will eat it quickly if I want. All right. <laughs> what do you think? Yeah, I'm gonna let mine just good. cool down good for chicken. like a few seconds. It's good. Yeah. I don't think I've quite hit the hot bit yet, though. No, it's not like spicy hot. Nom nom. What's this? Jujube. I think they have it in South African cooking. Do you do yeah, yeah, we have it. Thank you for all this healthy food. This is what I'm usually supposed to eat, but I never do. Mm. I like how much Korea thinks about their food as well. Because in Western countries, we just kind of eat what tastes good. Mm. They think, like, what is going to balance our body temperature? What is going to balance how we feel? Nom, nom. Oh, yeah, yeah. And they like the texture. So that's why they eat chicken feet. Oh, yeah, we eat chicken feet that yeah. time as well. So it's not kind of, if you take a bit of the rice, you can taste the ginseng a lot more. There's chicken fat on the top, but it doesn't taste fatty, it doesn't stay on your tongue. Chaka manyo. You can taste spring onion in there. Yeah, or, I just yeah. tasted the onion as well. But, uh, yeah. Oh yeah. Who doesn't like kimchi? Oh, I'm not a huge fan of kimchi. <laughs> <laughs> it will save the world one day. Nom, nom. I can't remember what it's called, but I know in English it's referred to as like the dog days of summer. And the two main dishes that people eat to cool down traditionally are like sangatang and then uh, soup or stew like this, but maybe dog. So I saw during those three days, sangatang was everywhere. But I think it is important because like, of course, Korean barbecue and stuff. 
but this is more kind of traditional and it gets away from the spicy because um, a lot of people think oh Korean barbecue or they'll think kimchi but this is like the other side of tradition the not spicy it's like focusing on natural flavors and like how it's going to make you feel on the inside Nom, nom. Among the foods you guys have tried so far, what was the best? Um, I really like the, the Korean style sushi, the sway. Wei. Wei. I really like Gangjutan. I'm, I'm a big Gangjutan fan. Um, um, I think Kalbi Jim, and because I arrived in the middle of winter, I was not prepared for how cold it was. I just was not. When I came out Incheon Airport and I went to Gangnam Station and there was a woman outside and she was selling pancakes filled with sugar and sesame seeds, so hotak. She didn't even charge me for it. She just like, you look like you're freezing. Here you go, <laughs> you poor thing. So she was really nice. It was kind of my first experience of Korean food. So it's one of my favorite things. Um, my favorite so far is definitely cheesy gongas. Uh -huh. <laughs> cheesy gongas. Cheesy gongas. Nom nom. So, oh. <laughs> the big spoon versus the small spoon. You find my Yeah, I'm fine with it. Nom, nom. What is this? That's the bird up root. It tastes like heaven. It's amazing. Are you supposed to eat it? That's the thing that contains the insulin. Oh, okay. So that's what helps the diet because it controls your blood sugar. It's absolutely amazing. Thank you very much. I'm going to start eating this. I'm sure it will make a great tea as well. Yeah, you know, Wangcha. Like you can get it. Okay. It's so nice. Nom, nom. I'm very full. Yeah. Well, I can sit here and eat all day, but I think I'm pretty much done here. Mm -hmm. Thank you for your food. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you very much for inviting us to try this uh, food. I think it was brilliant, especially on a rainy Sunday for me. I'll definitely try it again. Um, this has been really fun, and I'm glad that I got the chance to go on Creel's story with Owen. Um, the food was really good. Um, thanks very much for inviting me and um, I really enjoyed the food and it was, it's a nice place here and uh, I really enjoyed my time too. So for the next uh, Real Story food challenge we nominate Catherine and Andrew Shatner and they'll be having something very much like this. No, it's not dinosaur. <laughs>